to continue our discussions with proteins. So proteins, the word protein is derived from Greek word putius meaning means primary. So out of the total body weight, that is almost 75% are made up of proteins. So the main content of proteins in the body is composed of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. So this is the primary structure of your uh, proteins. So sources of proteins, uh, example milk, fish, meat, and uh, cheese, even uh, chicken and other uh, meat products are main sources of proteins. So proteins are also found in the cell membrane. So what are the proteins found in the cell membrane? So we have glycoprotein, which is functions for the transport of glucose globular proteins for communication process and protein channel that is for transport protein also and we have uh, integral protein for communication process we have surface protein for communication and we have integral the alpha helix protein which is also responsible for communication process okay so these are examples of glycoproteins that are found in the cell membrane which plays the important role in the transport of uh, biomolecules and provide structural strength of also of the cell membrane so protein types we have structural enzymes receptor and other functions structural it gives shape and structure to the cell or organelles For example yung actin and tubulin okay these are um, muscle proteins or muscle fibers which are responsible for the uh, cardiovascular or muscular contractions and relaxation of the body we have enzymes we are that catalyze biological reactions inside the body so we have your trypsin so these are enzymes for example involved in the digestion of food we have adenylate cyclase enzyme involved in the conversion of your adenosine triphosphate to um, cyclic amino monophosphate or cyclic adenine monophosphate or known as the comp so receptors binds to other molecules and transmit signals we have glutamate receptors and we have steroid receptors so receptors are involved in the transport or binding of different neuro neurotransmitters in our body so one example of other uh, receptors and beta receptors take note alpha receptors histaminic receptors the H1, H2 receptors. So these are involved in the transmission of the neurotransmitters. For example, uh, H1 neurotransmitters. These are uh, histaminic receptors which are involved in the um, allergic reactions. Kung H2 receptors naman siya, these are histaminic receptors involved in the uh, hyperacidity of the body. Okay? And other functions like antibodies, Okay. nuclear factors and neuropeptides neuropeptides are also uh, functions for uh, communications and of course antibodies for the immune response and nuclear factors it's involved in the um, functions of the nucleus next amino acids and peptide linkages in proteins amino acids are joined by peptide bond what do you mean by peptide bond uh, it is composed of one amino acid plus another amino acid. String of amino acids are joined together by peptide bonds. It's called, it's called polypeptide. So polypeptide is the, the bond between peptide plus peptide. And oligopeptide are shorter chains. So when you say oligopeptide, this as, these are proteins which has a uh, less than 25 chain of amino acids. Okay, so these are example of peptide binds. So it is linked by the alpha carboxyl group, this one, and also linked by the uh, alpha amino group or the nitro group, okay, or the amino, okay, amino group, not nitro. I mean, so when you say amino, so the NH2 or the NH. So protein classifications they are classified under globular and fibrous. So when you say fibrous and globular based on the shape compact and globular this one extended so usually these are muscle fibers okay uh, soluble in water this one is insoluble secondary structures is a complex of alpha helix and beta sheets and loop structures so we'll take up this one later 
secondary structures is simple based on one type only. So quaternary held by non-covalent forces. Okay, so there is no sharing of uh, uh, forces of attractions or sharing of there is no sharing of electrons. Why quaternary? There is a sharing of electrons because they are held together by covalent bond. So functions, this one is enzymes, so for catalysis, transport, immune protection, antibodies, hormones for communications. So function structure of the body is tendons, bones, muscles, ligaments, hair, and skin. So usually structural and mechanical for uh, the functions of the fibrous tissues. Okay, so try to see. So these are globular proteins found at most in cell membrane and you have tendons we have the muscle fibers also the collagen fibers uh, actin myosin okay uh, tubulin fibers are examples of the uh, fibrous proteins so general general biological functions we have cautioning in collagen this one this is the functions of your fibrous proteins mechanical actin myosin and tubulin also that is mechanical Catalysis, of course, we have enzyme, ribonuclease, exokinase, DNA, polymerases. These are functions also of your globular proteins. Transport and storage, this is globular proteins, so hemoglobin, myoglobin, and serum albumin. So this is uh, oxygen carrier, this is oxygen binder, and serum albumin. So this is responsible for the uh, protein drug uh, uh, attachment. Okay. Uh, communication and defense so we have antibodies for immune response peptide hormones for communications hormones for communications neurotransmitters for the uh, communications and of course for vital functions of different organs of the body okay because the vital functions of the of the different organs in the body depends upon the transmissions of neurotransmitters that are being released from the uh, presynaptic cleft, example, our neuronal cells down to the postsynaptic cleft or dendrites or even the uh, specific tissues okay, that will elicit a response in our body. For so secondary, so what are the different structures of the proteins? We have secondary and higher order. So these are the primary structures of a macromolecule such as protein or nucleic acids refers to the sequence of covalently banded residues along the main chain. So polypeptide chains is a primary structure. So this one is primary structure. Example, the combination of glycine, proline, threonine, glycine, threonine, glycine, glutamine, serine, etc. Okay, so if this is uh, the low 25 chain amino acid that is oligo uh, peptide. 